Far, far away in a kingdom deep in Africa, there was a king who organized a competition amongst his subject in the kingdom, that whoever brings and cooks for him the best meat, which also when cooked badly, would turn out to be the worst meat, would take the ultimate prize home. So the people in his kingdom and far and wide came by to cook for the king the best and worst food for the king. They cooked both edible and meat considered not edible in the kingdom. Some cooked for hours, elephant skin till it was tender, but it would all be rejected by the king. Some would cook one side of the meat being spicy and salty, while the next dish being sweet, seasoned with the best honey in the kingdom. But this would also be rejected by the king. Some went deep in the sea to fish for the rarest fish ever caught and tasted by man and cooked it, but it was rejected by the king. Then one day an old gray-haired man walked into the kingdom. Muzzy Mamanai. Along the way he was stopped by the king's guard since he carried the smallest plate he could find. While everyone had come to the king palace, prepared for a buffet, the king ordered his men to let the old man through. Though adamant, the king's guards let old man through. The old man stood before the king, holding tightly onto his small plate, his hands shaking, cleared his throat, and suddenly there was pin-drop silence in the palace. The old man raised his head, said to the king, My king carrying with me today in this small plate is the best and worst meat you ordered for. He paused for a second, studied the crowd who were still whispering, murmuring to each other. He opened his plate to reveal one piece of roasted nyama choma. My king, I reveal to you the best and worst meat. The tongue. Everyone was surprised, and there was some murmuring in all corners of the kingdom. My king, I carry with me man's best spiritual and bodily nourishment, the tongue. That is, if it is used properly. But if not used properly, the tongue can turn out to be the worst meat ever prepared by man poisoning a man's body and soul, leading him to his grave. The king smiled and everyone was surprised as they had never seen the king smiling before. Finally, someone had unraveled the king's riddle. Guys, keep it locked to Nairobi Dreams for more of this stories.